Hello students, this is Dr. Amar Preet Kaur, a lecturer from Jammu and Kashmir Education Department. Today's topic is single cell protein. Before discussing this topic, let's know why the need arised for single cell protein technology. Dear students, we all know that world's population is 8 billion and moreover, each day, the population is increasing by leaps and bounds. That means it is increasing at a high pace. So, it has created a lot of problems like global warming and uh, pollution. Other than this, there is a biggest challenge for scientists that is how to feed such a huge number of people. Okay, and moreover, our dietary habits, they are also shifting from vegetarian to non-vegetarian. Nowadays, people prefer more meat over vegetables. You can take example of our own Kashmir. In Kashmir, almost 100% population, they prefer meat over vegetables. Okay. And if animals will be killed, with the same pace to meet the demand of growing population, within the few years, we will eat every animal. All the animals, they will become extinct. So, it will create a huge ec ecological imbalance. So, scientists over the globe, they are working day and night to find solution of this problem. First is that people they they prefer protein diet and second we have to feed this number of population okay so the concept of single cell protein arised dear students this name is misleading when single cell protein is striking in our mind the first thing that comes is that the protein diet which is obtained from the organism it is only single organism okay but it is not the reality we are using multicellular or organisms not a single cellular organisms right so this must be clear to you whenever single cell protein will uh, come in your mind don't think that we are using only that organism which is single cellular Okay, we are using the multicellular organisms too. Clear? Second point is single cell protein is a protein rich diet. Clear? It contains very little carbs and fat content. And if you will take a um, survey, you will find that most of the people, they prefer high proteinaceous diet. However, there are some backdrops of single cell protein like uh, it will create a lot of toxin, high number of uh, heavy metals will be present inside this diet and there will be very excess nucleic acids. Okay, nucleic acids, they are generally not good for human beings because they can create some, uh, some diseases like gout etc so they have to be removed so during this single cell protein culture scientists they are taking care to remove excess nucleic acids heavy metals and toxins now students the organisms which are used in single cell protein uh, protein diet let's discuss about them the first one it is fungi in fungi we use the species of candida fusarium and some mushrooms okay they are cultured a lot at a large scale and people prefer such diet the second organism is cyanobacteria in cyanobacteria we are using a specific species spirulina spirulina is amazing algae okay in many laboratories uh, people are working on this organism because it is very rich in proteins okay and it can easily be grown on potato processing plants 
which are containing starch. It can also grow on molasses, animal manure and even it can grow very well on sewage. It produces a large quantity of pro protein diet which will be also rich in minerals and vitamins. Dear students, the third category of organisms which can be used in single cell protein is bacteria. Yes, there is one species, Methylolopus phyllus methylotropus. Methylophilus methylotropus, it is an amazing bacteria because it can produce a large quantity of protein. I will give you an example. 2050 means 250 kg of cow, it can produce only 20 grams of protein. On the other hand, if same amount of bacteria like 250 gram of bacteria will be used in single cell protein, can you believe how much protein will be produced? Not in kgs, but 25 tons of proteins will be produced each day. That is really amazing. That is why single cell protein, it is very demanding. With this, I have completed this lecture. In case you have any question, you can visit my website that is www.amarpreetkor.com. Thank you.